Oh boy, now that is heavy. Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is going to be very interesting because we have a brand new TV in the house. And let me tell you, this is a super big size TV and it's made by Acer. Yep, we've got the brand new Acer branded Android televisions guys. These were launched by the brand like recently in the Indian market and they introduced like three series. One is their P series, which is like most affordable and budget category TVs, which include like 32 inches and 42 inches HD TVs. And then you've got the boundless series which feature like a frameless design guys the bezels on those models are like very thin and look quite attractive and then you got the XL series TV guys which we have exactly right now this is a 58 inch XL series Acer TV 4k HDR Android smart TV and today in this video we're gonna unbox and check it out and I'll be telling you all of its features and I'll show you how this TV looks like so without wasting any more time let's get started Alright guys, here is our new Acer branded smart Android TV, comes in this sort of box packaging. It's a huge box and I've already told you the model, right? This is a 58 inch Excel series 4K UHD HDR smart Android TV. And on the front you can see the Acer brand logo, says Dolby Audio and has some of its features mentioned on the side as well. Like you've got all the Google related functions, YouTube is there, OTT platform apps like Netflix, Amazon Prime Video and has a size mentioned over here which is 58 inches so without wasting any more time let's get started with the unboxing let me grab my knife and cut this seal on the package and as soon as you open it we've got some accessories at the top these are the stands for the TV let me just take them out of the car and show you oh very nice looking stands gunmetal gray finish good build quality entirely made of polycarbonate and along with that, you also get a packet of accessories, which includes some paperwork. So make sure to read this. And you also get a main cord and an RCA to 3.5 mm cable. And this is a remote for the TV, guys. Looks very nice and has a smart design. Love the chrome buttons also at the center. We'll get back to this remote at a later part in the video. And lastly, you get two AAA batteries for the remote and some stand fixing screws in this packet. That's it, these are all the stuff we got in the package. Now let's finally check out the product we've been waiting for. Our all new Acer branded Android TV guys. Comes nicely packed like this in a foam packaging and feels definitely heavy in the hand. And there you go guys, let me just remove this packaging and show you how the TV looks like. Oh boy, have a look at this. Our first look at Acer's new 58 inch XL series smart Android TV. Oh wow. Looks beautiful, right? And let me tell you, it's a big TV, guys. You can definitely see it in the video. So what I'll do is I'll go through the setup process and, you know, fix the stands and get it ready to continue the video. Fixing the stands to the TV was like super simple, guys. You can do it yourself. You just need to place these stands on the provided slots on the bottom of the TV and use the provided screws in the packet and start fixing them using a screwdriver, just like this. And that is it, guys. You're all done with the stand fixing part. So what I'll do is I'll quickly power it on, set it up and then be right back to continue the video. Alright guys, so that was our unboxing and first look at this brand new TV from Acer. Now let's talk about the design and the build quality. So at the beginning I've told you that Acer has introduced like three different series in the Indian market, right? Which include their P series, Boundless series and the XL series. So there are like subtle differences in the design if you compare the Boundless and the XL series. We have the XL series 58 inch smart Android TV in the house. On the Boundless edition, right, it's got a frameless design. That means the bezels on it are like very thin and gives you sort of futuristic look. But if you look at the XL series, here you will find slight bezels on all the corners. Again, it's not that distracting also, it actually looks nice because the bezels are in like, you know, glossy piano black finish and gives you this nice premium look and feel from the front side. And also the TV looks quite minimalistic from the front guys, quite attractive. You only have like the Acer brand at the center on the bottom bezel over here, followed by a tiny status LED indicator just below that. And talking about the stands, quality of the stands is also nice. They come in like gunmetal gray finish and are made of plastic only, but build quality is decent. Now, if you talk about the backside guys, I'll just turn around the TV and show you how the back of the TV looks like. And also we'll talk about all the available connectivity ports on this TV. 
So guys, this is how the back of the TV looks like and let me tell you, built quality of the TV is very good. The entire back panel is made of metal, so very nice finishing. And over here at the center, you've got some details regarding the model. You've got some wall mounting provision and to the side, we've got all the connectivity ports. I like the placement of all the ports because these are very easily accessible even if you wall mount the TV. That is one good thing. So let me just give you a closer look and show you all the available connectivity ports. You've got a mini AV in, a 3.5mm head headphone is also there headphone jack then you got three hdmi ports and then spdif is also there antenna in then there's a dedicated lan ports and two usb 2.0 ports so you can directly connect all your pen drives also so most of the features are there and on the other side is where you've got the main cord port so this is where you'll be connecting the main cord cable Okay, that was our complete overview on the design and the build quality part. Now let's quickly jump into the TV and I'll quickly show you the UI, built-in apps and features and basically what smart features this TV has to offer. But before that, let me tell you the specs of this TV. So Asus Excel series features 58 inch and 70 inches. We have the 58 inch 4K HDR TV in the house and it's got like 4K resolution, supports HDR 10 plus and HLG support is also there and has micro dimming technology, comes with like a plus grade panel and we'll talk about all the display related functions when we come over there apart from that if you talk about the hardware right well the tv is powered by a 64 bit quad core cpu has like 2 gb ram 16 gb onboard storage and yes, you do have like built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as well. But for the Wi-Fi, it only supports like 2.4 gigahertz band only. So keep that in mind. Anyways, guys, as I've told you, it's an Android TV. So basically it runs on Android uh, version 9 out of the box. But the brand is saying that the TV will get a uh, software update to Android version 11 directly very soon in the coming future. So we'll have to see about that. Anyways, if you talk about the UI, guys, well, UI is pretty similar. You might have seen lots of Android TVs, right? So basically the whole UI is same. You've got all the list of apps at the top side, then content suggestion based on different OTT platforms like Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, and you can directly access them from the home screen just like this. So pretty much similar UI. And since this is like an Android TV, you do have like built-in Google Play Store. You can see it over here. You can open Play Store and download any sorts of apps or games that you would like to install on your TV. You've got plenty of space also, so that is not an issue at all. Apart from that, you have like built-in OTT platform apps also like pre-installed. I didn't need to install anything like Amazon Prime Video came pre-installed. Netflix also came pre-installed. And if you want more apps or anything, you can directly head over to Play Store and download from there. So that was it guys about the apps and things. Apart from that, you do have like Google Assistant that is also there. Voice Assistant search function is also built into the remote. Uh, we'll check out these features at a later part in the video. What I'll do is I'll quickly head over to the settings and show you general settings that are available on this TV. So there you go, you can access network and related stuff over here, account settings are there and in the apps you can basically you know check out system upgrade or built in apps, you can remove them and all that stuff. And in the device preferences guys you can check out all your about phone section, about TV section and all that stuff. Now suppose if you want to access TV is built in picture settings and sound settings now then you can easily access that directly by pressing this settings gear icon on the remote, just press that. And there you go, you'll get an access to picture, display settings, sound settings and all this stuff. And let me tell you, Acer TV offers like lots of picture adjustments. Let me quickly show you all of them. So as you can see, you can easily adjust the backlight and contrast, gamma, black levels and in the color settings also you can adjust the saturation, hue, color temperature, live color option is also there. So plenty of adjustments. You can tune the picture and display quality as per your requirement. So that is one nice thing I really liked on the TV. Anyways, apart from that guys, if you talk about the regular day-to-day -day performance, right? Uh, like the UI, how is the navigation, app and apps closing and opening and stuff. Well, everything was pretty fine. I've been using it for almost like 10 or maybe 11 days so far. So overall performance was fine. As you can see, everything is smooth on the TV. App opening and closing was also fine. Uh, not much lags or stutters guys. Very rarely that too when like many apps are running in the background, right? That time you might face a slight lag, but once you clear them out, everything runs fine. So not an issue at all. So now what I'll do is I'll quickly open up YouTube, we'll play some 4K videos and then we'll see how these TVs display quality and audio quality is. And after that, we'll discuss about that. <laughs>
Okay, you guys just saw the picture quality and audio quality, right? What do you think about the TV? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you would ask me, well, for the price point, what you're paying for this TV, right? The display quality on it is very good. Well, it's a 4K panel, right? Just look at the detail, look at the colors. It looks very good, guys. There's great amount of detail. Everything looks like crisp and sharp on the panel. And no matter what sort of content you're watching, like maybe playing a game, you're watching a movie, or maybe streaming something on Netflix, everything looks great on the display. And if you talk about the colors, colors were also very nice. Color reproduction was good. Everything was looking like rich and vibrant. And as it supports wide color gamut plus, the TV is capable of displaying almost 1.07 billion colors, guys. Everything just pops on the display though one thing i have to say is initially out of the box when i opened and started using it right that time i felt the colors were slightly a bit less so i had to go into the picture settings and slightly tweak the saturation increase that slightly and then i was getting like very good results so i was quite satisfied with the results after tweaking it you can see it over here guys great amount of detail and colors and if you talk about the other things like contrast levels are also fine black levels are also decent and dynamic range was also good there was good amount of detail detail in highlights as well as shadow areas and it supports HDR also right HDR 10 plus and HLG so you can even watch like HDR movies on Netflix or Prime Video and you'll have like great time watching movies on this TV. Now apart from the display quality you also heard the sound quality right sound quality is also pretty good the TV comes with 24 watts of high fidelity speakers on it powered by Dolby Audio and Pure Sound 2.0 and it is producing good audio clarity which is offering cinematic like experience with with clear treble, mellow mids and decently good bass as well. So that's it about the sound guys. If you want you can just check out this extra additional clip that I'll be including after this clip so you'll get like a better detail on the audio quality. And wait a second, I totally forgot to show you the TV remote. So this is how Acer's TV remote looks like. It's a smart TV remote that offers a couple of smart features, which I'll tell you in a moment. First of all, talking about the design, it's got a beautiful design, complete matte black finish and has these beautiful chrome buttons at the center that give it this premium touch when you hold it. And talking about those features, guys, well, it's got some direct shortcuts to like OTT platforms like YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video. You can directly access them from the remote itself. And you also have like a dedicated Google Assistant button. And since it has like a built-in microphone, you can even use Google Assistant to directly answer, you know, ask any question and TV will come up with the results. So let's quickly put that to a test and see how it works. Play Vimal Chintapatla videos on YouTube. And just like that, guys, it opens up YouTube and, you know, gives you the search results. Well, that is pretty much it. My video on Acer's brand new 58 inch XL series 4K UHD Android TV. It's a really good TV for the price. In fact, one of the biggest 4K TV you can actually get around 40,000 rupees in India. I love the display quality. Audio quality is also nice and all Google related smart features are also there. So I'd say it's like a value for money product. Right now, the brand is offering a lot of festive offer discounts on their models and the pricing of their affordable P series TV starts at only 13,999. Their boundless series 43 inch 4K model starts at around like 26,999 and our 58 inch XL series 4K TV is available for around 39,000 to 40,000 rupees. I'll leave links to all of these models in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video and got to learn everything about the product. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.